Sleep ways. Can you briefly explain how the Fed's raising the interest rates work? I know you went over it before, but I need a reminder because I'm not sure I am entirely following. So, for example, take a look at this uh, sleep ways. Silicon Valley Bank, S SVB, the bank in the in California that just went belly up. In a matter of two days, three days, their stock, their stock at peak was eight hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, and a month ago it was three hundred dollars. On Thursday, it dropped sixty percent, right? And pre-market on Friday, it was down another fifty percent. So it went from three hundred dollars. It was already stressed out, like three hundred fifty dollars to fifty dollars, and it didn't even open on Friday. Halt, trading halted, right? Why did this bank go bankrupt? Okay, for there's multiple reasons, but here's one of the reasons. One of the reasons was because they were woke ass, low IQ management, right? They cared about the color, they're racist basically, and uh, low IQ, right? They cared about the color of your skin, your sexual identity, your, your, the, the, the most ridiculous things. Right, the most who who you who you slept with, uh, what you wore, the, what your hair type was. That's what they cared about. Instead of, hey, we're running a financial institution, we need to have people that know mathematics, know modeling, know all this stuff. Right. Aside from the bad wokeness agenda that they had, the people that they 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 had running this bank. Right. So people put their money into the bank right and the bank you know makes has this money right they make money by lending money so they get interest from that they also have a sh shit ton of money sitting there so instead of just sitting there what they did some of these idiots right the people managing these this, the funds in the bank they bought 10-year bonds u.s bonds betting that interest rates weren't going to go up. Now, Sleepy Waves, you've been here a while, right? I've been doing live streams on Twitch, I guess, four years now, right? I've been making videos for a long time. When, when we started looking at the stuff, printing money and stuff, we knew that interest rates are going to go through the roof. Inflation is coming, and they're going to be ri raising interest rates. No ifs or buts about it. We were 99%, I was anyway, I was talking about 99% that they're going to be raising interest rates, right? The people, and by the way, SVB, Silicon Valley Bank, was on Forbes' top five most stable banks in the United States for like five years running, right? Top best place you could park your money, right? It's like those triple a graded loans uh subprime loans that they were selling in the 2000 2005 2006 in the build up to 2000 triple a this is a solid investment get your money in there right so the people managing these billions of dollars for this bank they bought 10-year bonds betting that interest rates weren't going to go up and their bonds were paying like one and a half percent right Billions of dollars, right? Well, what happened? Interest rates go up. So the value of those bonds goes down. Because why would you buy, like, for example, let's say it's a, it's a million dollar bond. They bought billions of dollars of this shit, right? Let's say you buy a million dollar bond that's going to be paying 1.25%, 1.5% for 10 years, right? Annual, right? A year later, interest rates go through the roof. Now you can buy 10-year bonds that are paying 3.5%, right? Way better yield. Way better yield. More than double the yield of what these guys bought like a year ago, right? Well, what's going to happen to the value of this thing? Well, the value of this thing is going to go down. Why would you buy a bond that has a nine-year term left in it that's paying one and a half percent when you can buy a 10-year bond that's paying three and a half percent right <laughs> you could park your money there so the value of these bonds dropped like 20 percent 25 percent or something like this right 
oh crap, they just lost a few billion dollars, right? Not only that, these 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 people, uh, a lot of their money that they had lent out was lent out to startups, tech startups, tech startups. Well, tech startups, interest rates are going up, right? And technology is pretty gambling sort of thing, right? Interest rates going up, tech startup, their costs of doing business means it's going up because they're not, a lot of them aren't making money, right? They're borrowed money, right? They're doing, selling shares and shit. So their share price is coming down. They're able to raise less and less money, right? By selling shares, right? So all of a sudden, these tech companies that they've lent money to, well, the business model is not really working out too well. So this is sort of a, a tech bubble crash of 2000. So we're seeing sort of a combination of the dot-com crash and the 2008 scam together with interest rates going up right economy collapsing sanctions on russia war against china hegemony of the western world done multipolar world commodities going through the roof right cost of them energy through the roof labor shortage in, uh, what do you call it for the stems anyway right a lot of overpaid woke as useless people working for these companies. That's why they've been major layoffs, major layoffs, thousands of layoffs in Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, uh, Tesla, Netflix, just laying these useless people, use, the, these woke ass people, right? Because they, they cared about virtue signaling. They didn't care about productivity. They didn't, not all of them. There are some that are good, but majority of it, the censors, Look at Twitter. Look at the people that were working for Twitter. Would you hire those people? Damn. Damn. Did you see some of the testimony they had? Damn. So there's a lot of baggage that these tech companies had. So they're, they've been valued as this much, but their value is way down here. So on the books, paper, SVB looked great. Forbes, one of the best banks you could put your money in right guess what it wasn't why because all that all that accounting hocus pocus magic on paper was really that it was just hocus pocus smoke and mirrors real value was way 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 down right and their management was making shitty bets gambling with billions of dollars like what kind of a low iq individual gets hires another low iq individual puts them in a position to manage billions of dollars and these low iq individuals through the chain of command they all okay them buying 10-year bonds and betting that interest rates are not gonna go up like a year ago two years ago we, we did a math video where we looked at the money supply and just going through the roof. These are the people that are managing, managing retirement plans for people. These are the people that are managing uh, social security to a certain degree. Not really. Because, well, to a certain degree, I don't know what they're doing with social security. That's the truth, right? It, garbage. It's insane. Interest rates being at negative. Right, so social security is done. Like the social security, I think it needed needs six percent or eight percent annual to be viable. It hasn't been that for twelve years, ten years. Europe has been negative, so that's done. Like what? Right? They're managing people's retirement plans, their bank accounts, their RSPs, their funds. These are the people in charge of people's money in the markets. That's not going to work out too well. It really isn't. So interest rates is basically, see what ways you want to think about it, is the cost of money, cost of doing business, right? That's the best way to think about what interest rate is, 
right? So if the cost of doing business is going up, then the economy is going to go down. Entrepreneurship is going to go down, right? Especially when it's coming from a place where there was cheap money. It didn't cost you anything to get money if you knew the right people, right? Because they were handing out money like it was candy at a fucking playground on Epstein Island. Hey, kitties, here's a lot of candy. Don't worry, no price to pay for this. Right? Damn. So they were handing out money like it was going out of business. Right? And people were expecting that there's no no repercussions to this. Right? All of a sudden, cost of doing business goes through the roof. So all those companies, all those companies that didn't have a viable business plan, their only business plan was cheap money. We can get our hands on cheap money. We have, look at all the all the wool cast people we hire. Look at this army of wool cast people. They're, they they understand words. Words hurt people, so they censor society. Look at all these people we got, right? Cost of doing business just went up, went through the roof relative to where it was, and it's not about to slow down anytime soon. I might be wrong. They might freeze interest rates, not kick it up. But I'm guessing interest rates are going to continue to go up. Cost of doing business is going to continue to go up. Okay.